uh, good morning in continuation of pre previous video uh, in this video i am going to explain the details of uh, tcon registers so tcon register again it is a 8 bit register it has control bits and clock bits for timer in upper nipple and control bits and clocks for external interrupt in the lower nipple that means 4 bit assigned to control and clock bits for the timer and the lower 4 bits assigned to control and uh, clock bits of external interrupt and it is a byte addressable that means individual bit can be altered and the detail this is the detail okay so as i said no upper 4 bit assigned for control and clock bits for the timer and the lower 4 bit assigned for control and clock bits for the interrupt and these are actual names so tf1 timer clock 1 TR1, timer run bit 1, uh, for timer 1, TF0, TR0, and IE1, IT1, IE0, IT0 is the control bit and clock bits for the interrupt. And these are the bit addresses. Say so this byte address is 80, so 88. <coughs> so hence it is the bit 0 is address is uh, 88, 89, 80A, B, C, D up to 8. And these are the alternate bits. That means either we can access this as a IT0 or as a TCON dot a zero. So suppose if you want to make this is one, either we can use set to bit IT0 or we can say set to bit TCON dot zero. So these are the alternate bit TCON dot zero, one, two, up to seven. These are the bit numbers. So this is uh, about TCON register. We'll see individual okay. and timer one timer 1 overflow clock it is set by the hardware i mean automatically set by the hardware when the timer per counter overflows overflows in the sense it reaches the maximum count maximum count and then it becomes zero that is called overflow when it happens this plug is set and again cleared by the hardware automatically cleared by the hardware when processor vectors into interrupt service and similarly tf0 okay so these are called as flag bits these two are called as flag bits okay tf1 tf0 so it is for timer zero same explanation for timer zero and control bits tr1 timer one cut and control bit it is set set or clear by the sati using an instruction uh, set bit tr1 or clear tr1 to turn on to turn on or off the timer 1 and similarly tr0 for timer 0 so these two bits are control bits control bits and ie1 external interrupt 1 edge flag so ie1 and ie0 are flag bits it1 and it0 are control bits so that means it is set to 1 <coughs> when I to low edge signal is received on INT1 bar pin, INT1 bar pin, and again it is cleared when processor branches to subroutine. That means whenever the interrupt occurred, whenever the interrupt occurred on INT1, it is set to one. Other than it is cleared when the processor branches to service routine or subroutine. And similarly for IE0. It is set to 1 when it receives I to low pulse, I mean low, low edge, falling edge, uh, on INT0. Next, IT1, external interrupt signal control bit, control bit, as I said, no? IT, IT1, IT0, IT0 are control bits. That means it decides, it decides where interrupts are edge triggered or level triggered. Interrupts are edge triggered or level triggered. When it is set or cleared by the program, if it is set to 1, interrupt uh, triggered by falling edge on INT1 bar. If it is 0, if it is set to 0, interrupt is triggered by low level signal. Okay. That means this pin decides whether interrupt is level triggered or edge triggered. Okay. So you, when the interrupt occurs, the corresponding IE flag is set to 1. And uh, similarly, for external uh, interrupt 0, external interrupt 0, signal control bit. 
set are cleared by the program will be reset to 1 or interrupt triggered by falling gates on int 0 interrupt triggered by no label on int 0 this is about t con register let's we'll see one example an example give the more word i mean t mode value and control word i mean t con values to perform the following operation the following operation is one is timer 0 in auto reload mode so what what will be the value of uh, t con and t mod to use timer 0 in auto reload mode and second one timer 1 in mode 1 so for this we must remember uh, first one t mod register to t mod register as well as t con register t con register okay and timer 0 means we use lower four bits so upper four bits are 0 0 and in the lower four bits let's say uh, gate bit is 0 that means timer on or off is depends on only trx trx and then it's supposed to be used as a timer no so t bar t bar is a 0 and timer 0 in auto reload mode auto reload mode means mode 2 so m1 m0 is 1 0 so the corresponding uh, uh, hexadecimal value is 0 2 so to start the, this is the t, t mod value this is the t mod value to start the timer tr1 0 is set to 1 the remaining are a 0 the remaining are 0 so this is the corresponding word in hexadecimal okay and similarly for the uh, timer 1 in mode 1 okay so uh, timer 1 no so upper 4 bits are used okay so in the upper 4 bit let it be gate 0 since it is timer c bar d bar is 0 mode 1 no so 0 1 so the lower four bits are 0, zero. so the corresponding uh, hexadecimal value is 1 0 and to make this is on tr1 is 1 so it is 4 0 8 it's the t con value clear now so this is about the t con register and how do we set the values so i'll continue with the uh, next video that is timer bar counter control logic